family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner. And today we are at the Hancock Homestead. And I am here today with my daughter, Karen Hancock Kendrick, because she's now a Kendrick. And we are getting ready to do our first canning session of the season. And that is to make Concord Grape Jelly. And Karen's going to tell you how we have to start the process. Yes. At my house, we have a large grape arbor. So my family went out and we picked the grapes off of there and we filled up a whole five gallon bucket. Jeffrey, my son, tried to help carry it and little Emma was finding all these little ones off the ground to put in the bucket and they were really helpful. And so we took all those inside and we rinsed them off and we threw away the yucky ones. And then after rinsing them and sorting them, we put all those into a pot to boil. And once you boil them down for about 10 minutes or once they're like nice and juicy, you move them out of the pot and you put them into your food mill. So once they're in the food mill, you just spin out that and your juice comes down into the other pot and then you get rid of all the stuff that like the seeds and the skin and all that stuff that you don't want in your jelly. And we stored it in these containers because my mom was down helping her brother and so I knew it would be a couple of weeks before we would be able to actually make the jelly. So I went ahead and did the juice part and now we're going to do the jelly part. Right. Um, we have a video from last year uh, where it shows Karen and I using the food mill uh, to get the grapes down into the juice stage. If you want to see that part, you can yeah. refer back to the old video. Mm -hmm. But this year, since I was gone helping my brother, uh, Karen and her family went ahead and got the juice part ready, and they had it frozen mm -hmm. for a couple of weeks because they knew I wouldn't be back. Yeah. But now I'm here, and now yeah. we're ready to get started. Go. And the recipe that we're going to be using is from the Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving. Now, I highly recommend this book for our beginning canners all the way up to experienced canners. Uh, the recipes are so easy to follow. There's basically one recipe per page, unless it happens to be like a jelly, and then they will have your different variations. But it's just such a simple, easy book to it follow. Is. So the recipe that we're using is for the Concord grapes because that's the kind of grapes you have in your arbor. Mm -hmm. And the recipe will make seven eight ounce jars. And these are the eight ounce jars uh, that we're gonna be making. These are called jelly jars. You can actually buy shorter jars, uh, which are four ounce jars, mm -hmm. uh, that you can use for like gifts. Yep. But usually when you're doing for home, you'll use the eight ounce jelly jars. And then to go along with this jar, we have the regular lid and a regular sized ring. So we're hoping to get, we're hoping to get two batches. Yes. So we're actually hoping for 16 of these, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, so the recipe calls for four cups of grape juice to seven cups of sugar to one pouch of the liquid pectin. Now, what we're going to do is, we are going to put um, the grape juice and the sugar in and bring it to a boil, and then we add the liquid pectin, okay? So, Karen, let's go ahead and measure out four cups and seven cups. So, these were frozen, and yesterday we took them out of the freezer and thawed them, and it didn't take very long for it to thaw. Okay, so there's four cups. Now, if you want your uh, grape juice a thinner consistency, you can run it through cheesecloth. Um, we found that step not to be necessary yeah. because we actually like the thicker, richer jelly. Um, that's why ours might look thicker than some of the others because we did not run it through the cheesecloth. Okay. So, seven cups of sugar. We're going to get quite a bit of jelly. Wow, yes we are. We might actually have to do a second session. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. And we 
had a lot more grapes too. Yeah. We just weren't able to pick them all. Just all right, I want you to go ahead and stir that. And then we'll set it up here on this front burner. We're not going to start out at a high temperature um, because we kind of want to get everything dissolving first and then we'll move it up to a higher temperature for the boil stage. All right, Karen, I'm going to bring them in for close up here. Okay. Oops. No. Okay, so that's what our mixture looks like starting out. It's a nice deep purple, a nice yeah. thickness. Okay. All right, we'll come back whenever it starts to boil. Okay, so we were able to get a second batch started. So we have them both back there um, preparing to boil. As you can see, we have a lot of grape juice left, so we're going to get several batches of jelly this year, Karen. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good. Yeah. We go through a lot of jelly at our house, though. So. Yeah, so, so do we. <laughs> Peanut stuff. butter and jelly is a good yeah. standby good sandwich. Picnics and... Yeah. Okay, so we gave you the recipe, and we showed you mixing the ingredients together. And now I'm going to read to you um, the first two steps of this. Step one says prepare canner, jars, and lids. Well, back here in the black um, canner, we have our jars uh, heating up, being sterilized. And you want, you want hot jars, okay? So they're back here heating up. We have already boiled our lids. They're back here sitting in the hot water. And we have already boiled our rings. They're back here in the hot water. So we've done step one, okay? Step two says, in a large, deep, stainless steel saucepan, combine the berry juice and sugar. And you saw us do that. Over a high heat, stirring constantly, bring to a full rolling boil that cannot be stirred down. Then after it begins to boil, stir in pectin. Boil hard, stirring consistently for one minute. Remove from heat and quickly skim off the foam. So over high heat, our uh, grape juice is brought to a full rolling boil and it can't be stirred down. Now I'm going to stir in the pectin. And they come in these little pouches. Yeah. A box my, of two pouches. My pectin. I'm going to stir in Okay. Oh. It says boil hard, stirring constantly for one minute. Okay. Smells so good in this kitchen, doesn't it? Yes, it does. What is that box of the pectin within? There. Whenever you go into um, Walmart to their canning section, uh, you can find these boxes of liquid pectin and uh, the boxes come with two pouches and you need one pouch uh, per canning session. All right, that's, did you set your timer? Are you counting in your head? Um, I, it had just changed to nine, so okay. it changed to ten, so we are ready. Okay, go. Okay. Now I have to remove this from the heat and I'll scrape off the foam. Okay, so I'm going to skim off the foam from the top of the mixture. Can you see the difference there? Yeah. Good job. Okay, Karen, so why don't you read what step three is? Okay, so step three says we're going to quickly pour this hot jelly into our hot, hot jars. And once they're in there, we have to make sure we're leaving a quarter inch headspace. 
And then we're going to put on the little lid, this uh, band, and we're going to tighten it down nice and gently so it's just fingertip tight. Okay. All right, so Karen will be doing step three. I figured these are her grapes, and she did all the picking and the preparing of them, so she should get to do the canning, too. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, our first jar removed from the hot water. I'm going to put the funnel on here. That will just help guide this liquid into there. And if I reach the bottom, that should be a quarter inch headway. Good. Right? Yeah. Looks well, perfect. I need something to wipe the rim. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's the water for? To just make sure it comes off. But there's no sticky on there. Okay. okay. So then I have to wipe my edge. Make sure there's nothing sticky on there. And use my a good seal. Yes, good seal. Use my magnet to pull off a lid. And I'll grab a band. Set them on the towel until you have all of them filled. Mm -hmm. We'll put them back into the canner. Quarter inch. I think so, yeah. Is that more than quarter inch? But is that okay? I think that's fine. When she's wiping the rim, she's also checking for any chips or rough spots that might prevent a good seal. So, and if you do have a chipped jar or cracked jar, you need to throw that jar away. Canning is a whole lot more fun when you have a friend to do it with. Yes. Easier. This is her second year though yes. and she's doing awesome and you know it's like anything when you haven't done it for a while your first time back it's always like oh yeah we need to do this oh yeah we need to do that even me as an experienced canner still has to remember year to year oh yeah you know yep. so I think we might be trying pear jelly this year. Yes, maybe. I would like to try pear jelly because we have so many pears in my house also. Alright, I All think right. we might have 
Yeah, I think we're going to have to go to the next panel. How many, how many, uh, do we have like eight? Eight. Okay. I might, mm, I won't make a full jar, I don't think. Okay. I don't know. And Karen and I, when we do these, we turn off the air conditioner. <laughs> So that we're not yelling over an air conditioner and you're not having to listen to it run. So we're doing this in heat like the pioneers used to do. <laughs> A well heated kitchen. Alright, is it ready? Oh no. Um, you gotta do one more in a minute. It's almost there. Can you imagine having to build a fire and then keep that fire consistently hot mm -hmm. for canning? Oh my goodness. We think it's we don't think many? it's hard, but it's time consuming. Canning is not hard, but it is time consuming. And I can't even imagine how much more time consuming consuming it would have been in the pioneer days. I'm gonna skim the foam off the top again. Did you I get it? it? Yep. Okay. I just can't get it on there. Yeah, Smoothly. sometimes if a ring won't go on, you might have to just get rid of it because rings will get kind of warp and bend from year to year. Especially if your daughter pulls them out of the cabinet and things like <laughs> Yeah. Now your jars and your rings you can reuse, but the lid part, you cannot reuse it. Once the seal has been used and broken, you have to get new rings because that seal in there has to be new. A lot faster when I don't have to dig those out. Yep. together so they can pull each other up. I think we'll be able to get them all in there. If not, we'll have to just one all second second batch. Guys, are you ready? Well, we are close. Go play zoo for a little while. We're almost done. I don't. We just have to let them cook. You could probably squeeze and get in one or two more. Do we ring or jump? No, let's just do those and we'll do those separate. Alright, ten minutes. Okay, so she has just set the timer for 10 minutes for the first batch. I just put the jars in the canner. They boiled for 10 minutes, took the lid off, boiled for 5 more minutes, and now we're ready to let them cool and listen for those pops. And the first one's always the hardest to get out. seven more jars to put in to, because we weren't able to get them all through the first time. Oops. Yeah, those pops are so much fun to listen for. 
I remember my first pop. I know. That was exciting last year. Well, thanks for being with us today as we did our canning of the jellies. Uh, we ended up with 18 jars, 18 8-ounce jars of the Concord grape jelly. Uh, we have 11 here and we have 7 finishing up. And um, Karen, isn't that just neat that all of this came from the grapes of your yes, um, love it. arbor? And uh, we had a little taste test earlier and it was really good. Really good. <laughs> And Karen had asked me earlier what kind of jellies I had made in the past. And uh, I had mentioned to her that I had done some uh, tomato jelly and some apple jelly. And she was wondering, what kind of jellies have you guys made? Yeah, I'm so, curious. What yeah. else is there that I don't taste? So uh, leave that in the comments below. And um, if you want to know what's happening in our corner of the world, please subscribe to Kim's Country Corner and uh, come back and see us and be sure and look for the playlist we have a canning playlist from last year's yeah. canning mm -hmm. and uh, we always do the recipes from here and then um, we're starting a playlist for this year's canning and this will be the first video in that playlist because we have salsa we want to do yeah. and pear salsa tomato salsa and then we're going to try some pear jelly i think yeah. so and then we have all of our tomatoes left to do too, like yeah. tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce. sauce. So we have goals. Yes, we have goals. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Welcome to the new subscribe subscribers, and we will talk to you later. Bye for now.